Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you all had an excellent summer and you got to do some fun things. This is the first science video of the school year for my classical conversation students. This is cycle three. So remember for science, we're going to talk about the human body as well as some chemistry concepts and some origin concepts this year. So stay tuned for that. Today, we are going to be talking about the four different types of tissue in the human body. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start doodling. There are four types of tissue in the human body. The first type is called connective tissue. Connective tissue is aptly named because its main function is to connect and provide structure in the body. It is typically found in our bones, cartilage, adipose, which is fat, and even blood, and many other areas in our body. Connective tissue is very important in providing support and protection in our body. In bones and cartilage, it provides support Whereas in other places, like the connection in our skin, it is meant to be elastic. Besides these very important jobs of connecting and providing structure, connective tissue also actually helps store fat, helps move nutrients and other substances between tissues and organs, and actually helps repair damaged tissue. But these are secondary jobs for these tissues and not their primary purpose. The next type of tissue in our body is epithelial tissue. This forms the covering of all of our body surfaces. It lines our body cavities and hollow organs and are the major tissues in glands. They perform a variety of functions that include protection, secretion, absorption, excretion, filtration, and sensory reception. The cells in epithelial tissue are tightly packed together with very little space between them commonly called the intercellular matrix. Most epithelial tissues are essentially large sheets of cells covering all the surfaces of the body exposed to the outside world and lining the outside of organs. As I said before, the main purpose of this tissue is to provide that barrier that protects the surface it covers. The next type of tissue is muscular tissue. Now, this one may be familiar to you. Muscular tissue makes up, can anyone guess? Our muscles. Within vertebrates, which are animals with a skeleton, muscular tissues can be broken into three different categories. Skeletal, smooth, and cardiac. Skeletal muscle is the most prevalent muscle type and makes up a large portion of body weight. Skeletal muscle is named this because it is attached to the bones of the skeleton. Skeletal muscle has several important functions, but its primary function is to operate the skeleton and move the bones so that you can move. Smooth muscle is found in the hollow organs, such as the stomach, the bladder, the airways, and in the walls of most blood vessels. Smooth muscle is controlled by the autotomic nervous system. This simply means that it cannot be controlled consciously. You cannot think to make your stomach digest. Now, contraction of the heart muscle, or the cardiac muscles, is also an involuntary movement 
and cannot be controlled by thinking about it, which is a good thing. It would be difficult to focus on keeping your heart beating while you sleep. The last type of tissue is nerve tissue. Nervous tissue is the main part of the nervous system, which is the brain, the spinal cord, and a complex network that runs throughout your body of nerves. Nervous tissue controls body functions. It is made up of neurons, which transmit impulses. Neurons send messages back and forth from the brain through the spinal cord to the nerves throughout the body. Neurons do many different things from sending information from the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin to the brain to carrying messages away from the brain to the rest of the body to allow muscles to move. These connections make up the way we think, learn, move, and feel. They control how our bodies work, regulating breathing, digestion, and the beating of our hearts. Now don't be confused here. Muscular tissue moves our bones and cardiac tissue still makes our heart beat. But these neurons sending messages back and forth between the brain is what triggers those muscles to do so. So in all, tissues perform all the functions of our body and are incredibly important for life. God thought of everything when he made us. And that is all for today. Um, I hope you learned a lot about the four different types of tissues in your body. I would talk with your parents this week and try and figure out what type of tissue are in different parts of your body. Talk about what helps your leg move, what helps you to breathe, what helps your heart beat, and see if you can figure out those things. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.